guys and welcome to the channel. This is the sixth time I've had to do this intro. I have no idea why it takes me so many tries. Just say hello guys, welcome to the channel. Um, sorry there was no video on Friday. Uh, going forward, until I've moved and everything's settled, I can't guarantee a video every Tuesday and Friday, unfortunately. I'm going to do my absolute best to, to make uh, videos on a Tuesday, for a Tuesday and a Friday still. Um, I'm going to do my utmost to try and still make that happen but as you all are aware I am moving so it's it's going to be whenever I can um, until I'm settled. Uh, today we are having chili con carne, hence the thumbnail, <laughs> which hasn't occurred yet but you'll see it. Um, right, uh, I'm just cooking the rice, as soon as the rice is done I'll bring you back and we'll get started. Right, we are back. <sighs> why, why, why does it take me so long? Well, I don't, I don't get why it takes me so long. The fuck me, man! Jesus! <sighs> I don't know why it takes me so long to say a simple hello. Um, right, we are back. I have it here in front of me, um, all nice and finished. This chili con carne, or this chili, shall we say, I actually made it yesterday and I had, sp I had a linguine with it. I didn't film it or anything, I just wanted to sit down and relax and watch a bit of TV because I love watching TV while I'm eating my dinner. Let me know, know in the comments if you guys are the same, whether you love to watch TV while you're eating your dinner. Um, I used this. Carolina, if it's gonna fucking focus for fuck's sake, Carolina Reaper sauce. The reason why I like to use a sauce instead of like the powder, like the chili powder, because I, I tend to find sometimes in, in the mouthful you'll get a different heat to it, like you might get a chili powder in one spoonful and then nothing on the next. So, whereas if I use a sauce and just mix it all in, and it's mixed everywhere, and you'll get an even flavour. Not to mention, it's not you won't have that grainy kind of taste to it. So, yes, ah, oh, I cannot wait. Um, do me a favour, if you can. I'll, I'll look how beautiful that rice is. Nice, fluffy. It's not sticking together, neither. I love cooking rice. I don't have it often. I really don't have it often. It's been, God, it's been a long, long time since I've had this, but I've actually got some leftovers for a video I'm, I'm making for Friday. I've had chicken forester from Marks Spencer's in my freezer now for about seven, eight months. Uh, it's probably really badly freezer burnt. So if the, if the meat does taste dry, I won't hold that against it because it was me who kept it in the freezer for so long. Because I do, do recommend you, you use the items uh, after a few months that have been sitting in your freezer. Hmm. See, I have saved some rice. I cooked a whole jug of, I've got a Pyrex dish and filled it to that uh, Pyrex measuring jug, filled it to the top and used that of dry rice, that is. I have been the past week for the past week I've been scouring Amazon and Amazon <laughs> looking for <clears throat> looking for stuff for when I move I need um, some new, I need a new, new plate sets, 
um, because some bowls like this one is coming with me and I've got a long plate which you'll see in Friday's video that's coming with me as well but I need like a proper pro plate set so if you guys see any beautiful plate sets that you think would look good then email me if you go to my or email me here this is the email me this is, this is my email for you guys to contact me so email me on that email address there and send me links of plates like a plate set with cups and stuff that you think would look good and that I should use um, no see-through glass plates this is not 1980s but no like that proper proper plate set because I would love to and knife set as well like a proper sharp good sturdy knife set as well I need so I need to take a look and find find one I've, I've already got I've already got my kettle my microwave and my toaster in mind I've had my eye on that for well over a year it is the Swan I think it's Synergy or Swan Sym Symphony or something like that uh, range uh, I saw that and I was like oh that looks lovely so I am gonna get that but yeah oh. and I, I need to go visit a sofa store as well because I need to get a, myself a sofa and I don't want to buy one blind I want to go to a store where I can sit on it and test it out see what I think of it I, then I can get the name of the uh, sofa and then search around see prices and see which is cheapest for me to buy didn't know how expensive flooring was like wooden like laminate flooring even lino I saw I went on being was it being cute home base I think it's home base wow there that's, that's quite expensive <laughs> yeah, I didn't know how expensive that was wow <laughs> so yeah I haven't been given an official moving in date yet. I will keep you guys informed with that. But once I get a moving in date and then I get the keys, I will go to the place and then make a video and show you guys what the place looks like. And what I might do is I might do a before decorating and then an after decorating and then so you can see the difference. It's shameful for me to say that I, I never decorated here at all. I, I, I painted the bedroom. That was it. That's the only. That's the only place I, I painted. You know, it's like ugh, yeah. But this one I'm moving to is going to be my forever home. So I cannot wait. Also, I don't know what to do with a garden. <clears throat> you guys have seen a picture of the garden, uh, or those of you who have gone to my community post. <clears throat> I don't know whether to leave it all grass, to put a patio there so I can have furniture uh, and do barbecue and stuff there. <coughs> and then further down, grass, or take the grass off completely and have it all uh, patio that's not going to happen anytime soon that is going to be a year down the line possibly longer so yeah um 
I don't know. We'll see. Oh. But yeah, it's... The, oh, I swear, the past few days have been such a headache. Trying to sort everything out. I have to let the electric company now move in so they can stop the electric temporarily until someone moves in. So whoever moves in is not going to have like, stupid stand-in charges sitting there. Like of, <laughs> in order to get electric, they have to pay £50 or something just to do the stand-in charges or however much it would be at the time. I have no idea. It depends on how long it takes someone to move in. It's the, see, it's the one thing. Uh, one thing I find funny about um, when you make spicy food <clears throat> is you make it to your temperature. Like last night when I had it with the linguine, it was lovely. I had a little warmth on my lips, a little burn, nothing major. When you reheat it the next day, wow! Close your head off. Um, I've noticed that when I made stuff, when I made um, my homemade Chinese chicken curry, I had leftovers uh, for the next day, and then when I heat them up, I'm like, oh my god, this is spicy. But yeah, this this is a lot hotter than um, than what it was yesterday, man. Whoa. Ever since I, I saw the place, I haven't stopped smiling since, man. Because it's like, I'm going to finally have a garden I can go out in and relax in. When I'm, you know, feeling down, for example, because everyone feels down sometimes. It's nice to just go outside, sit in your garden. Watch the birds flying about, free, happy. Watch the birds flying about, free, happy, and yeah. So I'm gonna finally be able to do that. Um, I'm looking forward to it. What I really wanted to do before I moved was I wanted to try I've not try because I've tried them already I wanted to have my favourite takeaways from Ipswich so like my favourite pizza shop like um, these are all non-chain stores so there's going to be no chequito because even though that is one of my favourites I'm not going to order from there I was hoping to, to make a video where I have my favourites, so it'd be my favourite fish and chips uh, shop, my favourite Indian takeaway shop, my favourite kebab shop, um, my favourite pizza shop. And ordering from my favourite Chinese, because, yeah. And it's crazy, I just found my favourite kebab shop after all this time I found my favorite kebab shop and I'm moving <laughs> so oh man it's but you know what it's it's, it's worth it I, I'd, I'd take moving to this new place over any takeaway any day so But yeah, if, if you do live in Ipswich or you do visit Ipswich, <clears throat> Alaturka is the best kebab shop I've had in Ipswich, 100%. So, yeah, um, if you do visit, 
definitely give them a try. But I, see, I would love to do all of those videos, but I don't think I can. Because of how much it will cost to do each video. You know, we're looking at £30 per video. You know, so if I'm doing the five videos, that's like £150. And <clears throat> I'm thinking about all the stuff I can buy for the new place with the money that it will <clears throat> cost for the takeaway. So I'm like, oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is lovely. I don't know. I don't know why I cook. I don't cook it more often. It's really lovely, and it's so quick to cook. Probably takes about the same amount of time as it does for pasta. Looking on Amazon, man, I have looking at so many things. Looking at garden sets, like dining sets for the garden. This one I, I saw last week was beautiful. I can't remember how much it was, but unfortunately, it's currently unavailable. So I'm hoping that it comes back in stock. If not, then I'll have to keep looking at other garden sets. I'm in no rush because the garden is the least of my worries right now. That could be done in a few months time down the line. But, oh. My God, <clears throat> this was a lot more wise than I thought it would be. I'm starting to get full up and I've only had half. I hope everyone is having a great time. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing for the coronation of King Charles. Are you doing anything? Um, you know, having like a street party or anything, I don't know. Me, I'm not doing anything. I don't like it around here. It used to be lovely. I... But... Yeah, now it's, it's just... People, man. Yeah.
I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of this, but whew. And so I decide to get <laughs> a bit of ice from the bottom. really got to start making rice more I can make like egg fried rice or something you know I was even checking out Google Earth of the area on Google Earth and Street View. And then I started looking at the, the old house I used to live at on Street View on Google Earth. Um, my old primary school, which is not there anymore. <clears throat> the, the, the canoe place next door to the primary school, which is still there. Like, wow, man, Jesus. I don't know how long it's it when it started, but yeah, it's still there. Even though the school has gone, or they re rebuilt the school and put another school on top of it, I don't know, or a university or whatever, I don't know what they've done to that place. But, yeah, man. Mm. But yeah, oh. And I went to then when I when I went I went round to the place where I used to play with my friends. They're still there. Funny enough, when I was younger, they moved everyone out. Everyone who lived in the, those blocks of flats, moved them out, moving moved them into other properties, and um, because they was gonna te tear it down and do something with it. Still there. Haven't done nothing with it in what. <laughs> 20 years so oh no 20, 25 years or more longer than that say what say 28 years ago and it's still there even the cage we used to play football in is still there as well and then I was looking at the, the places and I saw uh, Nadine's old, old old place. Nadine was my first crush in primary school. She was beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. I wonder, I wonder what she's doing now. Hopefully she's married and happy and stuff, you know. Uh, but yeah, that was that was my first crush in primary school as well. I used to go uh, and I used to go knock on her house in the mornings. I used to go there with um, I, used to go, I used to go there with a pop tart because I, I used to make a pop tart at home and then walk to her house, which is just just down the road. Yeah, I used to either have a pop tart. I used to get some clean film and then put some, they used to be called uh, chocolate squares, I think when I was younger. 
I think they're called chocolate pillows now or something like that. But, oh yeah man, like, you see get some clean film, put loads of chocolate squares in there, like, um, if you don't know what chocolate squares, it's a cereal, like a little, looks like a little pillow, and it's got hazelnut chocolate inside it. Um, yeah, I used to do that, in, instead of breakfast, like instead of stopping to have breakfast, I'll just fill up some cereal inside the clean film, and then eat it on my way, walking to school. Mm. Wow, we're almost finished, you know. That wasn't too bad. I'm starting to get a stick. I'm, I'm starting to get chest pain. And this one is because I'm full. This is not to do with no air bubble trap like the um, roast dinner video was. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell the difference. <laughs> But yeah, this one is because I'm, I'm really full, but it's like, there's like literally hardly anything in there. So it's like, do I suffer it? Be uncomfortable for a few hours? Yeah, why not? Mmm. Right, there we go. Dinner is done. That was lovely. I think that is like three times in a row now. My rice has come out. Perfect. <clears throat> right, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Um, tune in Friday where we'll be having chicken forester. So that is basically chicken in a mushroom sauce. And then I'm gonna have it with the leftover rice I've got in the kitchen. So yeah, tune in Friday for that video. Um, but until then, thank you and I'll see you Friday. <laughs>